Hello, hello, and welcome to next episode of Rolling to Riches. In this episode, we have another 252p gems, and of course, we have again five grand gems. Actually, we probably have a few more because I took some extras here. I just actually just did identify them too, but nothing. This was almost nice with some life. I would have kept this, maybe, maybe not. But thank you for all the new follows, thanks. And yeah, I was actually interested. Have you been doing the same like rolling the grand charms with the B gems? Uh, please let me know down below the comments which has been actually the best you have ever gotten with the B gems if you've been doing this. Our best right here is now the 43 lifer barbarian combat skiller actually which we got a while ago and we have made that Sheep shifting skiller was it 41 to life or 43 something like that i should start writing those up actually i am not doing that so if i want to do something know something i actually have to watch every episode at but at least i know that i'm showing them at the end so that's uh maybe some improving for me to do there but our idea here is actually to turn this one into this one by using the P gems and what we actually got 50 to poison damage and 26 to defense maybe we have to do this still a couple of more times I wonder what's still wrong with the internet connection it was down for two days two days down almost four days like 44 hours Oh damn, it's still a bit laggy, I don't know. Plus one to lightning skills for sorceress. This is for keeping. Nice start. This wasn't even more many rolls. This was like six rolls. Next! Next charm. Eight max damage and some attack rating. Extra gold from monsters. Combat skill for barbarian with six to strength. We're gonna deny it. Oh, it just removed the barbarian skills on that one. Like I said, denied. Now we got half of the strength we got. Now we got 4 to dexterity and last roll of the round. Master is the bar with 5 to life. There is only 4 missing in front of the 5. So close, so close. <laughs> next round. Next round and next 36, 36 pigeons. Yeah. That's the creating in life. Offensive auras for Paladin. You are denied. Curses to Necromancer denied. 15 to attack rating, minimum damage and 16 to life, faster hit recovery and 3 to defense, 1 to 2 fire damage, 1 to drop assassin 27 to life, you are not denied, we are gonna keep you. Next! And the next turn we've been getting actually quite nice here today, the second last roll of the round number 2 is giving us 5 to 10 fire damage and the last roll is next round next round 13 to life with some mana then we got 37 to life extra gold from monsters goes into poison resistance 17 maximum damage 34 to defense 4 to dexterity and some mana that was like 49 13 to life then we get six, no, 16 to fire damage, no, 16 to defense, 5 to defense, we got 3 more rolls, it's giving us fire resistance, that would be nice terms in the beginning of the latter season or something like that, day 1 drop, but then we end up to 7 faster run wall. Next round. And the 7 faster run wall is turning into 34 into extra gold from monsters, 38 to life, then we have what else 12 to life no not for us minimum damage 22 22 and 1 to 2 gold damage oh faster is recovery and attack rating that was quite low level 9 level nice i don't know would have been using for vlld but it's gone already now or to dexterity like four rolls left 28 to life 
spell to defense only. Then we have five to mana. And the last roll of this round is giving us passive magic skills 29 to life. Nice. We can actually keep this one. I have no idea does this have any use, but we're gonna skip. Next round. The next round is starting from the stamina. Six to strength and half of the points left anymore. Some attack rating and lightning damage. Then we got two to maximum damage. One to maximum damage with addition of 25 to life, 4 to dexterity, 17 extra gold, 3 to maximum damage, 16 to attack rating, faster hit and defense, 34 level requirement, 1 to 9 this time, faster hit recovery on 12, lightning resistances and gold damage, that could have been a small charm instead of a big, this is also terrible. And the last roll of the round is giving us some stamina if you want to run away. Next round. Second last roll is starting with 23 to defense, 3 to dexterity is going into 2 to maximum damage, 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 damage. And extra gold again on 22, we want 40 with some maximum damage. Nope. Mm. 22 extra gold, how about doubling that for this one? Gold skills for sorceress. Plain one sadly, but we're gonna keep this one also. Next term, amazing, we have already made four keepable turns on this episode and we still have like 40 pieces left. 23 to life with some stamina. Third last roll, 39 extra gold, so close, but we still want some adds. 1 to 4, lightning dance, and last roll of the round, 1 to magic find. Next round. Last round of this episode, I don't even know the episode number, 20 something, maybe, maybe I'm messing around. 15 to poison damage, 1 to 3, fire damage, some attack rating, 16 to life. The more at the creating, at the creating it rise up, but the life went down. 100 in the poison damage. Some lightning damage and mana, no. A life and mana, someone was just wondering in Facebook group that this is even possible. Yes, it is possible. Those rows are actually quite low. And we got three more rows for this episode, 40 to 9. Fire damage, second last roll is giving us 6 to maximum damage, 13 to add the creating. Last roll of this episode, 1 to maximum damage. But in this episode, we actually got 4 keepable charms passive magic skills, 29 to life, it is quite nice. Gold skills for sorcerer, sadly, it's without life. But then we got again 1 to traps for assassin, 27 to life, and then we again got 1 lightning skills for sorceress only. This is also quite nice. But I would say this was a good episode. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you again in the future. Have a nice day or evening. Goodbye.